This is a Two Minute Tuesday with Robin Hessel, and I am talking with Kathy Maxwell about her Turnbow trailer. Hey, Robin asked me to talk a little bit today about the reverse slant trailer, and I had looked for a long time for one and happened to have the opportunity to buy one. I had looked at a lot of friends and a lot of people who come to the shows with them. Some of the advantages are if you have, it's more comfortable, the reverse slant, the horses, they're traveling, they say it's less stressful on their legs and a little bit easier to them. They're facing more backwards if you have them in a reverse position. The beauty of it is, is you go with your horse's preference. I have some horses who would rather be loaded in forward and I can load them that way or the reverse slant, which is a little less stressful, especially over long trips on their legs. The other nice thing is if you have a horse who doesn't really like to load, as Robin will show you behind me, there's a lot of open space within these trailers. So if they're, if you're used to a front load or something where they're not as able to get in or have a bigger trailer where they're overwhelmed, it's still a two horse reverse slant. One thing you always want to do, mine happens to have a tack room on the front. There are a lot of different configurations. And then if you're hauling one horse, which I do most of the time, you always want to load them in the front section because it puts most of the weight on the tongue of your trailer. It's just safe for traveling. So this is my guy, Roscoe. And typically what I do is I do load him from the side and I just cue him. And then he's got his hay in the front and he's got his window down so he can look. There's a lot of windows on these trailers, so um, inventing in the top. So we, um, depending on what the weather is when we're traveling, he can either get a lot of air or he doesn't, you know, doesn't have to have a lot of air. They do put chains in. I've had other trailers that had a bar and I always was more afraid that the horse was gonna get hit with the bar or something. So I really do like the chains that are in here. So we'll walk around back and I'll show you kind of what it looks like from the back. So like I said, Roscoe, I was just leaving from a lesson and Roscoe was loaded on the other side, but it's great, great place to hang hay. The um, partition is very easy to use. You only unhook one side at a time, depending on whether you're loading from the front or the back, so you never have that weight on you. If you're somebody who hauls other things, like a lawnmower or a motorcycle, you could always take this entire partition out. You've got the ramp you could drive right up to take your lawnmower in for service if you needed it for that. Um, and then also, I can either have Roscoe back out at the end when I get home, or I can open this whole side here. And then he's got free ring, and I just unhook him from this tie. You're fine. Unhook him from this tie and lean him straight out. So again, at a show, depending on whether you have room on your side ramp. I was also telling Robin that one time I had a horse loaded in the front and I needed to go to the vet and pick up another horse. So I already had one loaded in the front and I thought, well, how do I do that? I just loaded the other horse so they were actually, one was front loaded and one was rear facing and they rode perfectly together. There was no problem with it at all. Very spacious inside the trailer. Like I said, lots of light, lots of air to get to them. I've just been super happy. This is probably one of my favorite purchases besides the horses themselves. So there's your two minute Tuesday.